Hey guys, it's Brie. Um, I hope you're having a fantastic day. <laughs> I have finished The Family Plot by Sherry Priest, and I figured we could talk about it. The Family Plot follows a woman, Dahlia, or Doll. She is working for her father as a salvager, meaning that she goes into places that are about to be torn down and takes out the things that could be valuable. Uh, she primarily is working with things like uh, mantle places and high quality oak railings that go down staircases and things like that uh, to be sold to high end consumers who want to like refurbish their house. And when her family decides to purchase the rights to salvage on a particular plot, she goes there to spend a couple of days and overnights. It's absolutely critical that this salvage plot is valuable. They have to get every last penny out of it because her father, the owner of the company, gambled really, really big on purchasing it. And when they get there and get to work, weird things start to happen. There are locked doors that can't be taken off their hinges and people who seem to appear in what seems to be a graveyard. <laughs> this is quite an interesting book and it had me at the edge of my seat just the whole time I was reading it. It took me like a day to read because I was just so in enraptured by what was going on. I'm not normally a big horror fan, I'll admit that kind of straight out because it's just, I get too in my head about it and then like actually won't be able to sleep for a couple of days, but this was so good. <laughs> um, Doll, the uh, main character, goes there with her cousin Bobby, Bobby's son who's now 19, and kind of this, this other guy who comes around and is working with them. And it starts out very slowly, like just kind of a weird feeling she has about the house. She just goes in and wants to save it. Um, she's the kind of person who saves houses or wants to save houses every time she goes in for salvage, so that's not surprising. But it's a particularly intense feeling. Um, and as you go on and you go through the story, it starts introducing more and more about this family and more and more about Dahlia and Bobby and all of the other people in the crew. It's a really interesting story. Um, I found it to be very intense at times. Of course, there are things like scary happenings and goings on and people get hurt. Um, <laughs> and while sometimes it seems like they're doing nothing and that they're like, they're just seeing things, there are times when it kind of gets up in your gut and you feel what they must be feeling. Um, some of the way Sherry Priest describes their emotions, it's, it's very easy to be sympathetic with the characters. Uh, the plot itself is really, really interesting. I liked the idea that we're going through this story, but at the same time, Dahlia and the rest of the crew are not so much interested in solving the mystery as they are in just getting in and out. Um, and I think that that's, <laughs> that's fun insofar as that's much more, I think, a typical response to a ghost, right? Like, we have to be here. Let's just get this job done and leave as fast as humanly possible, right? It, it takes a certain kind of creative curious person to go in and try to fix a ghost's problems and I'm not sure that that is applicable to everyone and Priest does a good job I think of showing the opposite. There is some of that like desire to understand why. Why is it that the the ghosts are showing up? Why is it they're hiding certain rooms? Why is it that they're going specifically it seems after Dahlia? But at the same time <laughs> it's much more of a well we found this chest in this attic it has some interesting stuff, but nothing we can keep, so let's keep going because I want to leave tomorrow. Um, it, it does have a little bit of a family drama undertone, um, a little bit of an interesting clash of cultures and generations, um, <laughs> and a really creepy graveyard that is supposed to just be a pretend graveyard. Uh, one of the fun things about that, I thought, or at least the interesting things about that is Priest goes so far as to kind of actually start thinking about the practical aspects. So if there is a graveyard, what does that mean for a salvage crew, right? Like they have to get special permits and work around it. And so that's, of course, the first concern when they come across this graveyard. And I thought that that was really an interesting detail that shows an attention to the minutia that was really impressive on Priest's part.
overall, I thought it was really interesting and engaging. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I would actually really, it makes me want to read more ghost stories, which is an uncommon feeling for me. Um, <laughs> but let me know if you have read The Family Plot. Let me know what you thought of it. I hope you're having a fantastic reading week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.